there. Good things come to those who wait, or those who found a shortcut to get them. Well, lucky us, because MA3 software is full of little programming life hacks. In case you hadn't discovered them already, here are some cool shortcuts in the software. Pressing the page button temporarily opens the pages pool. What a great way to turn a page in your life quickly. Save your show file and your ass by tapping the menu button twice for a quick save. Start fresh and clear your screen by tapping an empty view button. A fast access to the network settings is provided just next to the command line input bar. Tap the network icon and there you are. Holding the preset key and pressing 1 on the numeric keypad selects the corresponding feature group 1, which is dimmer. Holding preset and selecting 2 will select the feature group position and so on. Tapping the plus plus key twice on the numeric keypad adds an increment of 10% dimmer value to the selected fixtures. Tapping the minus minus key twice on the numeric keypad subtracts an increment of 10% dimmer value from the selected fixtures. Tapping the dot dot key twice will set the dimmer value to zero. MA dot and please sets the default values for the selected fixtures. Holding MA on any window's title bar and tapping at a different place on the screen resizes the window. Optimize your screen real estate by double tapping the title bar. The window will extend to the remaining free space. Holding two fingers on each side of a window divider allows you to resize the partition. Use a sign to quickly apply a filter to a fixture sheet or a content sheet. When using on PC, pressing and holding both mouse buttons and swiping left-right will allow you to pan the window contents to move right and left. Holding the MA and the list key, followed by tapping on any object there, for example a sequence, shows you where that sequence is referenced. The white focus square on an object allows for direct labeling. Just start typing on your keyboard and the label pop-up will open automatically. Selecting a fixture in the patch and then going into the Fixtures Type tab will automatically set the focus on the selected fixture's fixture type, so you just have to click on Edit to edit that fixture type. We hope these small things can make a big difference for you. Happy programming!